Spark SQL isn't just called that because it has a uh, set of methods that are similar to SQL calls. It turns out that you can actually do your queries directly with SQL. So we previously did our work using methods like filter, which we could have called where instead to be more SQL-like. Uh, we did joins, we did selects. I actually made a change here. I used an as because you can, there's an operator on column that allows you to rename columns, which is shorter than with column renamed if you happen to be using it in the context of a select. Uh, group by, there, there were things that are kind of SQL-like, but it turns out you can actually directly do SQL. And so what I'm gonna do is insert into here just a, a little uh, SQL query that models some of what we're doing here. I've, I'm thinking of pushing it down to get to the daily temp. Okay, so get the same data that we got here, but do it through a pure SQL query. So how could we go about doing this? Well, it turns out that the Spark session method has a method called uh, Spark, or called SQL. And into this, we can just type whatever text we want. And this is actually a wonderful place for Scala's uh, raw strings. So the triple quote string, the nice thing about this is you can type whatever you want into here. Uh, so we can put in quotes easily. Uh, it does not escape characters if you needed backslashes or whatnot. The only thing that you can't put inside of a raw string is, a, is three uh, double quotes, which you don't really need. So, just to illustrate this, let's start off by just getting the Tmax, okay, roughly what we have there. So, I'm going to come inside of here and now remember SQL generally isn't case sensitive, uh, so I'm going to do a select and I want to select out, so this line we dropped the in type, m type, and we renamed value to tmax. So I want to do a select of, uh, I want to keep our SID, I want to keep the date. I'm not going to keep the m type, so I'm kind of dropping it implicitly, and I want to keep value but as tmax from, uh, I want to pull this from our data set that we have up here, uh, our data 2017. But in order to be able to do that, I have to give it a name. Now, just calling it data 2017 doesn't help here. Uh, because the SQL part of Spark doesn't know that name. That's just a, uh, a Scala variable. In order to make it so that that name is known to SQL, we kind of have to register it with that. So we're going to take the data 2017, and all of these data sets have methods that start with create. Um, they can basically associate names globally or locally and they have the option of replacing. I'm going to go with the create or replace attempt view. We don't need this to be global and the create or replace means that if there's something already with that name it will simply get replaced and it won't crash on us. Okay so I'm selecting the station ID, the date, and value renamed as tmax from this data set where, where what? Where the uh, measurement type was equal to Tmax. And I'm going to go ahead and just, so that we don't have to wait through it, comment out all of that. We'll see if I have to add uh, limits on this. So this is going through and it should be doing basically the same thing that that line there did. 
we get a single table, it has a station ID, it has a date, and it has a maximum temperature. Okay, so this shows a simple example of SQL. We'll come back in the next video and we'll build this up uh, doing things that are a bit more complex so that we can get down to the result of this daily temp. So we'll wind up pulling out both the max and the min, doing joins on them, and calculating an average all inside of SQL.